Here we are, 11.1 cubic and cube root. And so they're not asking us about the domains of these because with the cube and the cube root, the domain and the ranges are usually negative infinity are negative infinity to infinity. So they don't ask you about the domain and range in this particular topic. But we do have to follow the steps on finding um, inverses in order to find each of these inverses. So the first one, we're going to change the f of x to y, interchange the x and the y, and then we're going to solve. So I'm going to minus 3, then I'm going to divide by negative 1, and I'm going to take the cube root on both sides. And so then I get y by itself, and I get the cube root. And I'm going to rearrange this just so that the negative x is not in the front. And then I write it the inverse notation. And that's the final answer with the 3 minus and the x both under the radical. Here, change this to y, interchange the x and the y's. That's an important step. That's what now turns this into inverse. And then solve by cubing both sides to get rid of the house because I'm trying to get y by itself. So I need it out of the house first. And then I can minus 10 on both sides. And then I can divide by 3 on both sides. And then change it to F inverse notation. And that would be what they want there. Then for this problem, same thing. Change this to Y. Interchange the X and the Ys. Get the Y by by taking the cube root of both sides. So I get the cube root of x equals y plus 1 and then minus 1. Now notice this time the 1 is not inside the radical. So there's a difference between when everything is inside the radical and then when you have a term that is not inside the radical. Here same thing, change it to y. Interchange the x and y. And then start solving for y. And then take the cube root. And you don't have to expand this one. So you can just leave it x plus 5 cubed. And then divide by 2. So you have f inverse of x equals x plus 5 in parentheses over 2. And you can leave it like that. You don't need to multiply this out. x plus 5 times x plus 5, figure that out, and then times it by another x plus 5. You can just leave it like this and it will accept that as your answer.